it's been great to kind of understand how it started, what the technology stack is, how it's been developed, how they've got everybody involved, and just basically how to improve the digital payment system. And it's been an amazing success. Uh, I've also learned sort of the things that would be very hard for us to try to do in the United States, just yeah. different constraints, both politically, privacy, and things like that. But nevertheless, it helps me go back and think about how we could move things forward in the US. Well, you spoke a lot about interlinkages between the fast payment systems here in India. Of course, we've had the UPI, and we've had several bilateral agreements with various countries for those kind of linkages. How soon before we hear something with the US? Well, like I said, we can do interlinking, but our system isn't developed yet. So mm. you're going to connect, it's a bridge <laughs> to nowhere, <laughs> because nothing's going to move until we get our system completely built up. So that's that's what I try to communicate, that it's going to take us another couple of years to fully expand our system, mm. so that if you want to send a payment from India to anywhere in the U.S., mm. it'll get there, or mm. vice versa. But yeah. we're not there yet. So yeah. this is just a matter of building out our network and when it's big enough and it's broad enough, then interlinking would be a serious value proposition. Well, uh, you know, you heard the uh, Economic Secretary and the uh, Ministry of External Affairs earlier talking about how India has been a rule abider so far, but perhaps it can be a rule maker. Uh, when you talk about the fintech innovations, perhaps from that theme, uh, you know, uh, with the kind of technology India has built with fast payments, uh, are you looking at some sort of technology transfer, some sort of partnership to build uh, your fast payment ecosystem back in the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, the technology part of interlinking is actually the easiest part. Mm. The hard part is the legal, the governance, rulemaking, and that requires people to sit down in a room and agree on the way things are going to get done. Mm. So that's not a technology problem. The technology part is actually fairly easy to do. Mm. So anyway, that's, that's where things would have to then move, is how do we agree to do the governance processing. Clearing and settlement of international payments is not a trivial problem mm. and how that would be done and what exchange rates you would do that at so that's stuff that would have to be settled on and that might that actually we know from experience with our own uh, ACH that that takes a while to get that done yeah